So I'm starting out with a scenario where the supply curve actually shifts much less than the demand curve. So we're somewhere here. In a situation like this, the new equilibrium would be, would be found, in a situation like this, the new equilibrium would be found over at this point. And as you can tell, as you can tell, the new equilibrium quantity is over here, which in comparison with the original equilibrium quantity, we know that it has decreased. So under the label, we can say equilibrium quantity zero is actually greater than equilibrium quantity one. As you can tell, again, equilibrium price has dropped. However, it has dropped less than before. So the size of the drop is actually smaller. The last scenario that I would like to show you is a situation in which the supply curve shifts a lot more than the demand curve. So we have a parallel shift that we're trying to perform. This is our label. And the new equilibrium point will actually be found at the intersection of S1 with D1. And as you can tell, it produces an equilibrium quantity, which is to the right of the original equilibrium quantity. That means my equilibrium quantity zero will now be less than equilibrium quantity one. So what we have in this case is a situation where equilibrium quantity has now increased. I can show that through an arrow. So if you're going from equilibrium quantity one to equilibrium quantity, I'm sorry, equilibrium quantity zero. So if you're going from equilibrium quantity zero to equilibrium quantity one, you can clearly see an increase. We also notice that equilibrium price has dropped again and the size of the drop is now larger than before.